Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Aditya 11 Triple T. Today we are going to see how to flash WS1 chip with the help of CS341A programmer. In this, we are going to use this WS1 chip as well as this socket for programming the WS1 chip. Now there is an alternative sockets also available in the market. This is a low cost socket which has two dimension because the chips are of two types you can see over here. I will try to show you. So you can see there are two dimensions over here you can see very clearly one is 6 into 5 and other side is 8 into 6. So we have 8 into 6, 6 chip over here this is a win bond chip which is available and this is a 32 MB chip. I will show you the number this, this is 25Q256 that is 32 MB chip ok win bond. So we are going to flash this chip with the help of CS341A programmer because many people have asked me whether we can flash a WS1 chip with the help of this programmer or not. So today I am going to show you how to flash this WS1 chip with the help of CS341A programmer which is the cheapest programmer currently available in the market. So let's get started. First what we have to do is, first we have to place the socket according to its pin, ok. So here it is pin number 1 over here, ok. And now we have placed our IC according to pins, that is pin number 1 you can see over here. You can see pin number 1 is over here, ok. Dot is pin number 1 which you can see very clearly. So what this socket is of? you can see over here that this is pin number 1 which is connected over here so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like this ok so this is how it has been connected now what we have to do is first we have to connect this socket and place the IC and then place it on the CS341A programmer and close the jacket over this is the jacket which we are going to close now Now we have closed the jacket and we are simply going to plug this into the laptop. Now as soon now as soon as you plug it into the laptop you will see the light glows. Okay. And what we are going to do is we are going to press on read ID button. Okay. Now this is the read ID button over here you can see is the read id button as soon as you press on read id you can see it has been automatically detected now you can select one and start press on just read ic now this is a brand new chip that's why it is fully empty so what we can do is we can directly write the chip over here so i'll go to downloads I can take any random file of 32 MB and write it out. Now this is a 32 MB file. Okay, I am going to open it up. Now I can just press on the write button. Now here what you have to see is you have to press on program IC over here. You can see program IC. This you have to press. So as soon as you press on the program IC you can see over here the light starts glowing over here this light starts glowing now this will take a while because IC is big and we will see how much time it takes for writing the or programming the chip now you can also use the AS programmer and there is a neo programmer software also best is as programmer and neo programmer both works well without any problem we have tested both of them 
so you can use any of the software you like as per your need and requirement as well as your understanding so you can see the chip is right now being programmed now you will wait for the programming to get complete once and then we will try to read the chip back so right now the chip is getting programmed So you can see over here that reading is about to end and it has reached the last stage of the reading now. So you can see over here that programming is about to end. So as soon as the programming will be completed you will see that this light also gets off over here. This programmer is not good for professional use although it is very cheap cost programmer. If you have a very less work you can prefer this programmer but it is not good for professional use and you can see over here light is off you can see and it took around 37 minutes 20 seconds to read us and write this particular bias chip that is a 32 MB bias chip. Now what we are going to do is we are going to first open the same file in hex first. that's what we are going to do so first we are going to open this file on the hex so that we can compare the file now what we have to do is we have to read this file back now just uh, we are going to open any random file and I am going to read this file back read I see Now let's, it will take around 7 to 8 minutes to read this simple IC again back and when we read this IC completely we will be comparing the file which is written on the IC is ok or not and it's matching or not. If it matches that the programming which we have done is 100% successful without any problem you can just use this programmer to write the files but again this is not for professional use and regular use if you have limited work a project work or something like that or you want to do some experiment then this programmer is very good otherwise this programmer is not good for usage or professional work because it kills a lot of time takes a lot of time to do a single job so I don't think a professional will like this programmer much but yes it is a cheap best programmer available in the market for the work which can do SPI, I2C, ENE reading ENE which we have shown you previously and we also have a video for SOP8 bias chip that is a normal bias chip which is available in the market and 8 lakh bias chip with the socket which we have already presented out there and currently we are presenting you the WS on 8 how to program with the help of socket you can also use alternatively the PCB board but best is use the socket to save time jumper method also you can use you can use the wires and make a jumper and read again it can create a lot of problem while reading if any bit misses then it will be a corruption in the wires So you can see over here it took around 6 minutes to read this IC now. What we are going to do is we are going to save this file first. We are going to save it as test backup and save. Now we have to open it into the hex 
now we are going to compare it you can see the files are identical that means the flashing was done perfectly fine so i would like to say over here that you can use the cs3418 tool for programming the ws1 chip easily okay but again this is not for professional works it is only for the works of project or something small works for professional work please take a good programmer and save your time so thanks for watching aditya w1 triple t youtube channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment thanks a lot so if you want to get the knowledge on bias modding you can just purchase our hindi edition all the videos are available already and uh, along with that there are many case studies as well as some videos theoretically on impedance and voltages are also there with the help of dso how you can check the motherboard are also included on this videos so complete packages of around uh, 40 plus videos you can if you like you can just purchase them it is a full of knowledge you can enjoy the videos and it is a 100% money back videos your money will not be wasted for that so if you like to join our bias and schematics group you can also contact us for joining that as well as we also have a training program of laptop chip level advanced level if you like to join that you can also come and join that so thanks for watching aditya double one triple t youtube channel if you like our channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment thanks a lot